guys, what's going on and welcome to day 8 of 22 days of lipstick and first of all I am so sorry I did not upload yesterday. Uh, the reason is because this is the second time I'm filming this exact video, the talking part of it because there was some kind of a static in the audio of my first video, the first time that I filmed it and it was completely unsavable like I could not do anything about it and this was something like a last minute thing so I just... I tried fixing it for two to three hours but nothing just did not pan out and I was finally like you know what I have to refilm this and then I had some office work to do so yeah that's why I'm so sorry I missed out on yesterday but today onward it is going to be on schedule and on time but yeah so coming back to today's video I am going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Bella Wurst Ulti Matte Liquid Lipstick now I have with me five shades as always check the description box below to see the shade names and for foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC. Now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to be notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video. Okay, so first let's talk about the features of these liquid lipsticks. Now it says that it is a highly pigmented liquid matte lipstick enriched with vitamin E, features a silky smooth and lightweight formula, stays comfortable on lips, delivers excellent coverage and color payoff, water resistant smudge and transfer proof formula. Now these are priced at 299 rupees for 3.7 ml of product and they offer a total of 18 shades. So it comes in this clear tube with a black cap and black writing. At the bottom you have the shade name and number and this is how the doe foot applicator looks like which is a flat applicator. And now let's move on to the lip swatches. Alright, so let's talk about the formula of these liquid lipsticks. Now, firstly, these are super pigmented. Just one layer is more than sufficient to cover your whole lips. You do not have to go with the second layer at all, no matter how pigmented your lips are. The second point is that these are quite thick in consistency. Like when you apply it, it is kind of thick in texture and this makes it kind of a quick drying kind of a formula as well so you have to work a bit fast with these and once it does dry down it settles into a pure matte finish now these are completely transfer proof like for example clean hands there is zero transfer and these are pretty long lasting as well like it lasted like for six to seven hours and then i had to eat but until then it lasted pretty well on my lips and also for the removal of these liquid lipsticks you will have to use like an oil infused 
any kind of a product like oil based product to remove it just normal face wash or just the micellar water is not going to work for these oh and there is one fii that if you do have like lines and wrinkles on your lips these will emphasize it so just bear that in mind and now coming to the cons, the first con is the fact that these are extremely drying on the lips. Now I own a lot of liquid lipsticks and for me usually when the point comes about a lipstick being dry, I usually put it as an FII, not as a con. But these are even drying for me. So these are quite drying and even right now I have applied it under a lip balm, I still find it quite drying. And because of that, I kind of tend to lick my lips uh, which I do not know if others do that, but I do that. And when I do lick my lips, it feels like a very thin layer of lipstick is there. Like you will feel a bit of lipstick is there when you lick your lips, not otherwise. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is that in normal I don't feel like there is a lipstick when I'm talking normally. But when I do lick my lips, it does feel like there's a layer of lipstick there. Yeah, that's what I mean. So the next con for me is how it looks like after having a heavy meal. So this is how it looks like. But then if I do rub my lips together to, you know, kind of get a sheer coverage of the lipstick, it starts becoming grainy and it starts disappearing as well as it looks very patchy at the end. So I don't like that. So that's kind of like a con for me. So overall, in my personal opinion, there will be only three reasons why I would buy these liquid lipsticks. Firstly is for the shades because they are beautiful. I love all the five shades that I've picked out. Number two will be for how long lasting and how transfer proof these are. And number three will be for the pricing because it's only 299 rupees for 3.7 ml of product, which is a great pricing. And if you do find it on a sale, that is amazing. So yeah, guys, these were my thoughts on the Bella Wars Ulti Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this wraps up today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests I will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishanair on Instagram and Ishanair on Twitter as well. So until the next time take care. Bye.